In this video, I'm going to unbox this Samsung NU8000 LED LCD TV. Now, I know many of you want me to review the Samsung Q9FN, the South Korean brand's top-end QLED TV for 2018. But unfortunately, in the UK, the 2018 QLED TVs are only launched on the 24th of April. And so many retailers are not actually allowed to send out these TVs to customers who buy them. So as a compromise, I have had to purchase this Samsung NU8000 LED LCD myself to review and hopefully I can get a glimpse of what the company has for us for the year ahead. This is the 49-inch version. The model number is UE49NU8000. I will unbox this and then go through the picture settings in the user menu. So I have finished setting up this Samsung UE49 and U8000 and I have hooked it up to SkyQ currently playing Sky News. And what I am going to do is to go through the picture settings in the user menu. So if we press the settings button on the remote control, it will bring up the user menu and we go into picture mode. There are four picture presets, dynamic, standard, natural and movie. Note that I actually need to lower the backlight to 3 because there's attuned to how I've actually set up the camera in terms of the exposure that my face is lit and the menu is not blown out. So backlight control controls the light output of the television, brightness control affects the digital black level and just like last year you can go up to plus 5 and minus 5. Again I will need to check where the, the Samsung 2018 TVs are clipping blacker than black and contrast affects the digital white level. The company has actually changed the values here so the maximum value now is 50 whereas on previous years the maximum value could go up to 100 and it is set to the maximum of 50 in the standard picture preset and sharpness is the same you can go all the way up to 20 or just go all the way down to a zero and just do those with edge enhancement to the content itself. And if we go down to color, right, there's some slight changes here. I think on previous years it goes from around zero to 100, but this year it only goes from zero 
to 50 and the higher it is the more saturated you will make the colors but you want to get it right in terms of the saturation and the luminance of the colors and the default is 25 in the standard picture preset again you know, when i calibrate this tv before i review it i will have to check which is the correct value and tint affects the colors globally in terms of rotating the colors and apply picture settings you can limit the picture settings to either one source or to all sources and digital clean view is basically samsung's version of noise reduction and if we go down here auto motion plus settings right you can see that it's set to the default of auto or you can just turn it off this is samsung's mcfi or motion compensated frame interpolation technology and if we go to custom you can see that there's only jada reduction but no blur reduction what this means is that this tv is a 60 hertz television it only has a native refresh rate of 60 hertz unlike many other higher end led lcds or oleds which have a native refresh rate up to 120 hertz and led clear motion is basically backlight scanning or black frame insertion Again, I will turn it on and hopefully from the camera you can see that the screen has dimmed down and maybe you can see some flicker from the camera as well. I'll turn it off. Local dimming. And again, just like last year, you can't actually switch it off. There are three settings of low, standard and high. I'll leave it on the default setting of standard for now again. When I review this television, I will check the correct setting. Contrast Enhancer is basically just a dynamic contrast enhancement. HDR mode, right. Normally on previous Samsung televisions, the 2016 and 2017 models, the HDR Plus mode, what they actually do is to apply a HDR effect to SDR content. So it's a pseudo SDR to HDR conversion. But on the 2018 models, there have been rumors that this HDR plus mode also engages dynamic tone mapping. I don't know whether it's actually available or not on the 2018 Samsung televisions. So I will need to check that when I test this television throughout the next two weeks. And color tone, this is basically Samsung's nomenclature for the color temperature preset. You can either choose cool, which will push a bluer color temperature, standard warm one or warm two, which will push a yellower or warmer color temperature. So I'll leave it to standard for now. And under the white balance settings, you can see that there's a two point control and also there's a 20 point control that is greater. I don't know whether you can actually spot it from the camera. It is so faint, especially off axis. It is extremely faint here. But in the more accurate picture preset, let's say the movie mode, the Carl night and the Carl day mode, presumably you can actually adjust the 20 point white balance controls. And if we go into the two point white balance controls, what this allows you to do is to adjust the gain controls and the uh, offset controls the gain controls r gain stands for red gain g gain stands for green gain blue gain red offset green offset and blue offset so the gain controls affect the brighter portion of the image in terms of the grayscale adjustment whereas the offset controls affect the darker portion of the image and if we get out from here and we go to gamma right gamma determines how the input video signal is translated to the output from the screen and the default setting is BT186 for SDR this is the EOTF standard for standard dynamic range content and it is the default setting here because this is an SDR feed from SkyQ and again the words are probably too faint but you can probably work out that maybe this is the ST2084 which is the PQ standard for HDR10 content and HLG standard. And if we go down here, right, within each gamma preset, you can probably brighten it or darken it by adjusting the slider here. RGB only mode. This would be useful for you to check color decoding. Color space settings is set to native 
by default in this standard picture preset but you can also switch to auto or to custom which is Samsung's version of color management system and their color management system is RGB based by that I mean you can tune the three primary colors of red, green and blue and the three secondary colors of yellow, cyan and magenta by further adjusting the RGB mix within each color. This is different to other manufacturers implementation where they allow you to adjust the HSL or hue saturation or luminance of these colors. And reset picture. So those are all the picture settings and another thing that I want to actually explore is going to be the general menu where you can find under external device manager the game mode so you can actually switch it on or off and I think there's another setting called auto as well maybe this has something to do with the auto game mode switching in conjunction with the Xbox One X again hopefully you can work out the really faint wording here auto and if we switch it on again this will blow out the colors because of how I've actually set up the camera but you know if we switch it off uh, then you can hopefully know that game mode is actually found in the external device manager sub menu and hopefully with the Xbox One X there will be a firmware update in the near future that allows the TV to switch directly to game mode automatically without you having to go into the user menu or use the voice control and HDMI UHD color you can switch on the HDMI 2.0B functionality for all four HDMI ports this is again an improvement over other manufacturers implementation let's say from the likes of Panasonic and from the likes of Sony they usually have only to full fat or full bandwidth HDMI sockets but on this Samsung television you have four uh, just like their arch rival LG Electronics as well and you can switch on HDMI UHD color which will enable HDMI 2.0B on any of these four inputs and that probably wraps up our walkthrough of the picture settings in the user menu of this Samsung 49NU8000 so I'll be spending the next couple of weeks testing the features on this television while I wait for the Samsung Q9FN to be released and if you have any questions about this television please feel free to leave them or ask them in the comment section below if you have found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.